Hello guys, this is Mudassir Ali, one of the Enterprise DNA expert member and this is my first ever video on, on this channel and first of all I would like to answer your question why am I wearing this hat because thanks to COVID my hair is all messed up so I'm not taking any chances. Well, the purpose of this video is to give you the introduction about calculation groups and the good thing about this video is we won't be using any technical jargons because this is the problem I faced when I started learning DEX. Uh, uh, one technical jargon led to another and it became really difficult to difficult for me to grasp the concepts easily. So we won't let you go through the same suffering because why is here when enterprise DNA is here, right? So let the real action begin. So in this video, I'll try to answer four basic questions regarding calculation groups and tabular editor. So what are calculation groups basically? Calculation groups are a collection of items. Uh, wait, wait, we promised that we won't be using any technical terms. So I'm sorry, collection items are basically just measures, same as that you create in your report, but they are created in a slightly different way, which we will see shortly in the video. The second one is where to create calculation groups. So calculation groups are basically created in tabular editor that you can download for free from the internet and in, you can check the tabular editor in your external tools so if you're running a latest version of power bi desktop and the tabular editor that should pop up automatically over here but if in case it doesn't then you can totally check out the video recently posted by one of our enterprise dn expert member brian and so instead of just getting tabular editor in your external tools you can get all these cool external tools in your power bi desktop so the link of the video is in the description. You should totally check it out. And about the third and fourth question, why to create calculation groups and how we can create calculation groups, I have to walk you through the practical demonstration. So the question is why should we create calculation groups when we can create the same, when we can get the same results with our measures, right? The first we have to check, we have created three measures in a report for demonstration purpose, total sales. And we have got the total sales through an iteration function, total cost and total margin. And I wanted to check our previous month sales, previous quarter sales and month over month change, right? So I use the time intelligence calculation data to get our previous month. And the same measure was used in the previous quarter with the difference that month was replaced by the quarter and month over month change, which is basically just a total sales minus previous month sales. So we can populate this result in a matrix visual. Uh, I'm going to analyze it by month name. Our current total sales, our previous month sales, our previous quarter sales and previous Oh, month over month change, right? So just to analyze sales in different time periods, I had to calculate three measures. What about if I want to see the same result for total cost, I have to create additional three measures. And for total margin, I have to create any additional three measures. So six more measures I would have to create. Uh, let's imagine if you want to create more time intelligence calculations like previous year or quarter on quarter, month over month percentage change, then you would have to calculate three more measures for every time intelligence calculation. That, that would be one hell of a task, right? We can avoid all this with a tabular edi editor. So our fourth question is how we can calculate calculation groups with a tabular editor, right? So for this, you would have to go to external tools, tabular editor. And the cool thing about tabular editor is you can access all your tables for, for, from this external tool also. For example, channel, sales, and stores, everything else is here. Uh, I wanted to show one more cool feature about tabular editor. You can totally check your dependent measures from a tabular editor. For example, I want to check which measures depend on total cost. So I can right click over here, show dependencies. So our total margin is dependent on total cost. How? If you check total margin, total margin is using total cost. Cool, right? 
but if you want to check uh, on which measures or on which table or columns our total cost is dependent on you can click over here you can see our total cost is dependent on this table and on this column that's that's really amazing now we we should head back to create calculation groups you can create calculation groups by creating on right click on tables calculation group and you can name it as stem intelligence cool now to create measures or calculation items right click on this one calculation item first one we are going to create is the previous month calculation so instead of writing previous month sales over here i'm just using one measure and with this measure i will be able to analyze total cost total margin and total sales which we will see shortly in our video so for previous month sales we have to use our calculate function and a selected measure function so this is the new one which we will be using so instead of hard coding the measure like uh, total sales total margin or total cost we are just just using selected measure selected measure will automatically get the measure we are trying to feed in our matrix table or in our visual so let's go ahead and complete our measure date add and we have to access our date table and dates column we are going back one month i'm copying it to get the same result for our previous quarter hit enter go back to calculation item near create new calculation item and we will name it as previous quarter the measure is the same and the difference is just we will replace month with our quarter enter and we also have to calculate month over month creating a new one naming as month over month and we are using selected measure because we we want to make it dynamic so whatever we will whatever the measure we will select in our report we want to subtract it with our previous month for example if we are selecting total sales it will subtract it from our previous month total margin or total cost but the thing is we cannot reference our calculation items in our in our calcul in our new calculation item what we have to do we have to copy and paste our previous month whole expression in here and hit enter and now we we have to save our changes to reflect in our report you can save it from here and you have to refresh this in the report before you can access your calculation groups you can see time intelligence in our report so let's go ahead and check our result we don't need this no not this one not this one not this one we need a time intelligence in our column section now we have to feed a measure over here so if i drop drag and drop total sales over here the selected measure that we use in a tabular editor automatically detect that we are using total sales over here see the results are same okay so you can ask that you want to get the same order like you want previous month sales first and then previous quarter and month over month we can totally get it easily for example i want previous month first right so you can just uh, rearrange your measures over here like this we want previous month then previous quarter and pre month over month now previous month ordinality is zero this means it will be the first item in the list previous quarter is one month over month is two right now we have to save our changes refresh it that's it but you can see that the total sales measure or total sales amount is over here but not we, we cannot access it over here to get our current 
sales or total sales, we have to create one more time intelligence calculation. Do time intelligence calculation and that's called current. So what's our current measure basically? It's just a selected measure. That's it. We have to save it. Come back over here and current. Cool, right? Current means whatever the measure we feed in our field section, it will get it automatically. So instead of total sales, what if I want to see total cost? Instead of total cost, I want to see total margin. That's, that's really great. I think that's one of the best feature of tabular editor so far. What if we want to take it to the next level? So instead of dragging and dropping different measures in our report, uh, I want to use these in a slicer. What we can do, we can create another calculation group. We can come over here, create new calculation group because by now you, you know how you can create a calculation group. And we can name it as measure select. Measure select. We want to create a new calculation item called, instead of saying total sales, I'm naming it as sales. I'm hard coding the sales expression over here. That's it. Another one, cost. We can go to cost and copy the whole expression and then paste it over here. Okay. And then the last one is margin. Margin. So margin is basically sales minus cost, right? So we can create the whole expression Copy it over here, minus total cost. You can see I didn't reference any measure from here in tabular editor because this is not the best practice. It's best to use the whole expression in tabular editor. Click OK and save your changes. Hold your breath, refresh now, measure select. We can totally use it in our slicer now. Now I can dynamically populate the results for sales and margin. And this is totally dynamic. You can use a date slicer to see the periodic results in your report. So I think that's it. And I hope that I managed to explain it in simple terms. I didn't use any technical terms because I know that, that's the problem I faced when starting out index. So in the next video, we'll be see, seeing one cool, cool trick, how you can use calculation groups in a, in a more creative way. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see you on the next one.